If you're looking to sell your condo in Miami, it is very important for you to know all the tips and strategies there are to know about preparing your property for sale. You see, it's not just about giving your property to a real estate agent and they can put it on the market and that's it. It's a lot more than that. If you do want to get as much exposure as possible, as much views as possible, as much showings as possible, the highest offer, you need to prepare the condo in the best way possible in order to be able to receive the highest offer and the most amount of interest possible in your property. So in this video, we're gonna be going over all the tips and strategies that I use on my properties and my listings to get them sold quicker, to get more offers, and to prepare for sale. So let's not waste any more time and let's start with the video right now. What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Hans Weisfeld, local real estate agent down here in Miami. And today we're gonna be talking about how to prepare your property for sale down here in Miami. So the first thing there is to know is that first impression matters. Just like anything in life, the first impression is what counts. So the most important thing that buyers are looking at as soon as they're stepping into your property is gonna be the first impression. As soon as they walk in, like for example, this property right here, as soon as you walk in, what is gonna be the first impression? What is gonna be the buyer's first impression? Right now we're gonna go into some details, but just keep in mind that in order to begin and putting your property and preparing your property for sale is gonna be understanding that the first impression matters. Now we're gonna get into more detail, but just keep that in mind. First impression is what counts. So the first thing that you should do to prepare your property for sale is gonna be declutter. What does declutter mean? See, in this property, as you can see, we have already decluttered, we have already done everything that I'm gonna be telling you about. But decluttering is, is pretty much getting rid of all the unnecessary things that you have in your property. Most of us, I mean, we all do it, we all have, you know, unless, unless you're a minimalist, minimalistic, you probably have a lot of things in your property, extra things that you may not need. So the first step is gonna be decluttering, getting rid of all the things that you're not gonna be using, all, all the things that you don't need. For example, of course, this one is extra prepared for sale. I love my properties, you know, the prepared the best way as possible. Almost like if you're walking into a hotel room. You know, when you walk into a hotel, there's almost nothing other than what you're gonna be using. That's how I like my properties uh, to prepare my properties for sale because a buyer you know doesn't get distracted on the little things they get distracted on how they're gonna feel when they move in and for example when the property is way too cluttered way too much things it says before in this table the sellers you know they were working here at the home office so here was a bunch of books and their laptops and lights and this and that pens and here's all the kitchen things that's fine we all live like that right but if you are trying to make the most amount of money from your property and get them as much interest as possible, it's well, it's very good to declutter. So for example, this table right here, as you can see, it's beautiful, it's clean, you can see the table and you don't get distracted by all the paperwork and the computers and all the things that were here prior. Same thing as with the kitchen, right? Of course, you can have a little bit more things. This was like very, very empty right now. We emptied it out as much as possible. But again, decluttering is something very important. You can do that, you know, to all, everywhere in the house, just decluttering clutter where are you gonna put all the things well if you have storage space in your condo or in your property or wherever you can just put things in boxes and start decluttering start putting things away you're gonna end up selling the property anyway it's gonna end up selling especially with the tips that I'm giving you so you might as well start preparing for that move and you might as well start preparing to declutter and get rid of some things the next thing that you should do to prepare your home for sale is gonna be a strategy that I use, many real estate agents probably don't use, I don't know, but I love this. What is it? It's gonna be fresh air and good smell. What do I mean by fresh air and good smell? Well, let's just say that your house, uh, maybe there's carpet in your condo, or maybe you don't open the windows so much, so you know it kind of stinks up in there or doesn't smell very good. Sometimes you may not realize, you may not know, so it's good to ask you know friends or family and other people, maybe your real estate agent, you know, see how it smells. So usually what I like to do is getting fresh air, opening up those windows, opening up the, the balcony doors, just every single day, just let it breathe, right? Get some fresh air in there. That's gonna be the number one thing. And the second thing is gonna get a good smell. 
For example, I got this for the property owners, right? These are all little smelly things that I buy off of Amazon. These are amazing. I know you can't smell through video. I wish you did, maybe in the future. I wish you could smell this, but it just gives it a really fresh, um, just like a really fresh smell on the property. So you, as soon as you walk in, the first impression is that it's decluttered, smells good, right? There's not too much things everywhere. So again, so the smell is very, very important. Right, and another thing, talking about fresh air and smell, is also gonna be AC. So make sure when you're showing the property to potential buyers, that the AC is cold, right? It has to be cold in there. If it's hot, people are gonna get uncomfortable. So make sure you lower that AC, even if you're not used to it, even if you don't like uh, your property to be cold, just make sure it's you know pretty chilly so so what so they just feel more comfortable so again good smell fresh air you know then you know the buyer's not feeling super hot super warm or sweating in there right? i've gone into properties believe it or not and it's like the ac is not working and you're in there sweating and all the buyers want to do is get out of there right so these are them some things to keep in mind The next thing, which is gonna be very, very important, guys, this should probably be the first thing, but the next thing I'm gonna be talking about in order to prepare your property for sale is gonna be uh, fixing all the things that you know need to be fixed, and they're probably just small little things that you haven't done yet, but you're just you know, kind of waiting for it. Well, now is the time to get all these little things done, right? I'm talking about small little things. I mean, some things may be big. Hopefully, you do the big things, but I'm talking about those small things that you're like, ah, it's okay, there's nothing wrong with that, it's just small. Those are the main important things that buyers, actually, they keep all these things in mind, right? So for example, I don't know, we go to the bathroom and there's like mold, right? Even, even though if it's like a small little spot or some, or like a towel may be broken or maybe the sink, you know, maybe coming loose or the shower head, maybe something wrong with the shower head or, or maybe like a small little hole somewhere whatever type of thing it is, or maybe the AC, right? You open up the AC cabinet or the AC closet and you see that it's dripping or you see the AC just really dirty. Whatever it is that you know your property more than I do, of course, right? So whatever it is that you know your property that should be fixed, that should be prepared, that should be uh, replaced or maintenance, whatever it is, you need to do that. Why do you need to do that? Because as a buyer, when I walk the properties with my buyers, my buyers start thinking of all these things, they start looking at all these little details, and they start going, oh, look, the bathroom needs this. And it might be just a $100 fix or $50 fix. It might be very simple, right? But the buyer's always gonna exaggerate those numbers, right? They're always gonna over-calculate. So they're gonna be like, that's $300, that's $500, that's... So a, a job that for you as a property owner may cost you, let's just say, $500 in order to prepare the whole house with all these small little things, a buyer may say, no, it's gonna cost me three, $4,000. So what's gonna happen? They're gonna say either, oh my God, it's way too much work. I love the property, but it just needs way too much things. Like the door, the, the, the no, doorknobs are loose. One door is broken. One thing is here, one thing is there. So they start making all these things up in their head that are gonna cost more or it's just overwhelming for them or they just may not wanna buy a property with so much problems, even though it may not even be a problem. These are how the buyers are looking at the properties, okay? So again, so something that may cost you $500, it may cost, a buyer might think that it's gonna cost them a couple thousand. And they may say either no to the property that maybe they do like, or they may wanna start negotiating down and you know, go negotiating three, $4,000, when it might cost you just a couple hundred. So this is very, very important that most people don't uh, talk about, but this one is, is like one of the main points to preparing your property for sale. So another thing that you should know to better prepare your condo for sale is going to be depersonalizing your property. What does that mean? That means getting anything that is your personal things, photos, um, decorations, anything that's like really personable. Why? These are distractions for a buyer. Again, the buyer's gonna walk in the property and if you have, you know, picture frames and, and if you have like pictures of you and your family and your kids, as much as you love your family and, and whatever things that you're into, these are things that may distract the buyer. So instead of the buyer coming in and getting that feel of how they will feel if they buy that property, how they will feel with the family, they start seeing pictures of you and your family and things that just distract them. And the focus here is not to distract them. The focus here 
is for them to see the property and for them to feel at home, for them to feel comfortable in that property so then they can call it home. That's how a buyer buys a property, only if they feel like, hey, I see myself living here. So when you have all your personal things, the buyer might be like, oh, I don't feel like here. I don't feel like I belong here. I feel like this seller or this person belongs here because there's, you know, your things. So for instance, in this property, there was a lot of picture frames, a lot of family uh, pictures all over, a lot of decorations. As you can see, we removed all of that. Um, we painted, as another very important thing, is painting. Painting may cost you, you know, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, it depends. But this will definitely change the whole perspective of, uh, of, of the property, right? So getting rid of those personal things is very, very important. The painting, again, smelling good, fresh air, cold AC, decluttering, putting things in storage, making it as simple as much as of a hotel as possible. So these are the main, main, main important things. And then lastly, of course, you have to be available to show, right? You are your real estate agent. Hopefully there is no tenant. Sometimes when there's a tenant, it's a little bit more difficult, right? And then, so you have to be available for sale. And then lastly, of course, it has to be priced well. Because you can do as much decluttering, as much of these strategies and tips that I told you about. But if it's overpriced, if you're not, if it's not priced well, then it is probably not gonna sell or it's gonna take way too long to sell or you may have it sitting in the market and then it's gonna get stale and then people are gonna say, hey, what's wrong with the property? It's not selling, so let's offer less. And you're probably gonna end up making way less money than what the property is really worth. Anyway, I really hope that these tips help you prepare your condo for sale. All these little things that I told you about, these are all the tips that I use for my property, so I really, really hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, if you're interested in selling your property down here in Miami, please feel free to reach out to me at any time. You have all my contact information down below or go to my website, www.livinginmia.com. Reach out to me. We can do a Zoom call. We can chat and see what's going to be the best options for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it and I see you in the next video.